In today's video, I am going to be showing you a tutorial on how to get to TU1 on Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition, and this will also enable you to play the very first tutorial world uh, from what you get on TU1. Now, there are a few things that you need for this video. You do obviously need an Xbox 360. I'm not sure if this works for the PS3, but I do know for definite that this doesn't work for the Xbox One Edition, the PS4 Edition, any other edition of the game. Uh, and the new Bedrock editions either. This might not also work on disc, the reason why is because the digital edition was the first edition of the 360 edition to release and the disc edition actually came uh, later on, It came, I think the digital came out in around uh, June or July of 2012, the disc came out around November. So I'm pretty sure the disc edition doesn't enable you to go to TU1, I think the lowest update you'll be able to go to on the disc is uh, I think around TU5 or something like that, TU6. Uh, basically when the creative update came out, the very first one, so that is as far back as you can go with the disc. But if you've got an Xbox 360 and the digital edition of the 360 edition, and just like me, you will be able to go back to TU1 and play the old tutorial worlds and everything which is sick. Uh, so yeah, I decided to do this tutorial by the way because I'm currently going to be recording a video on the old TU1 world uh, as like a nostalgia throwback so far. I might as well just do a tutorial while I'm here. Okay, so the first step that you need to do, I'm just currently on the 360 edition just to show you this is the latest update. As you can see, the mini games is there, so I'm not on the TU1 already. So what you got to do, you got to go to the Xbox 360 dashboard. This may take a while because the Xbox 360 is like ancient now, uh, so the load times are going to be long, so I'm just going to speed it up a second. Okay, so once you're on the dashboard again, uh, what you got to do, you got to scroll all the way down to where it says settings here, then you got to click on system settings, and then you got to go all the way down to storage, and then once you're on storage, uh, you got to find out which, you know, save drive your Minecraft is saved on. For me, it's my hard drive. For you, I unfortunately can't help you for that. You're just going to have to check yourself. It depends on what you saved it to whenever you downloaded the game on it. Uh, so mine's my hard drive, so I'm going to click my hard drive, and then you're going to go to games and apps, which we're already on games and apps, luckily enough. So you want to click on that, and you got to scroll down and find uh, Minecraft, obviously, it'd be the dirt block, there we go, found Minecraft, uh, click on Minecraft, then you got to scroll down and find uh, title update, so I'm just going to be careful here and scroll down and look for it, because I have a lot of worlds, uh, these must be like 10 years old now from when I was a kid, uh, so here we go, look, my Minecraft title update, 1.3 gigabytes, that is a lot of uh, gigabytes and that it's taking up, so what you got to do, you got to click on this, and you got to delete it. Don't worry, you will be able to download this again. Um, it's just it might take a bit long to download it, but you it won't delete any of your worlds or anything. Uh, you just need to delete the title update, just so you can go back to title update 1. So I'm just going to uh, click delete. Don't worry when it says permanently, by the way. It always asks you if you want to update the game when you launch the game again. So what you got to do, you got to go back, uh, back to the dashboard, go back to where it says home, Actually, no, go back to My Games, sorry. Uh, click on My Games, uh, where your Minecraft is. Or if you do have the disc edition, just pop it in the disc tray. And then you've got to find uh, Minecraft, which... Uh, let me just try and find it really quickly. There we go. Uh, where's Minecraft? Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. There we go. And just launch the game again. So when you launch the game, it should say that you're disconnected from Xbox Live. This is the part where you just cannot play Xbox Live at all. And it should pop up this little update, little screen thing, saying an update is available for this game or app. Do you want to download the update now? Uh, 1.3 gigabytes. See, this is the same exact amount of storage from the title update we just deleted. So what you've got to do is you've just got to click cancel and uh, it lets you bypass it. So now you can play it. Look at this old school text. I, do you know what? I forgot they even changed the text font on the front. But now you can play old school Minecraft, uh, game profile not on online, you've got to click continue playing offline. Uh, just choose like a storage um, drive, I'm just going to choose my uh, my uh, internal storage just in case. Another thing I would say is do not attempt to play any of these worlds, just in case they end up crashing. Because obviously you don't want to lose any of your worlds. Uh, so once you're here, you can create a new world and it will give you seeds as well from the title update once. If you want like an old school seed on your world, you can obviously go on this, do this method and get an old school seed. But we're going to be playing the tutorial, so just click play the tutorial. It might take a while loading because the 360 edition always took a while to load into worlds. Sorry for the jump cut there, but uh, my game just froze and as you can see, we're on the title update one. So I'm just going to quickly do some settings. And as you can see, we're actually in the tutorial world, the very old one. Um, this is you know, how Minecraft looked. It looks a bit darker than usual. Uh, you got the big Minecraft sign here. I just tried to sprint there, and you can't even sprint. This is how old the tutorial is. 
Um, I think, can I just walk out? Cause I, yeah, you can just walk out. I didn't do the tutorial. Oh, wait, never mind. I can't. But there's a village over there and everything. Uh, you can just explore this how you want. There's a village over there, I'm pretty sure, if I remember. Uh, this is before Redstone as well. Um, and everything and if we try and open this chest really quickly yeah we try and open this chest it doesn't make like the chest noise or open or anything it just gives you the inventory of this chest so uh, anyway if this tutorial was helpful and it worked for you uh, be sure to leave a like rating and comment down below letting me know if it worked or not or if you are having any issues uh, just comment down below and uh, I will help you out with that if you do enjoy my content consider subscribing because I am probably going to be doing more Minecraft and I do do Call of Duty as well uh, so yeah uh, anyway, if you like this video, again, leave a like rating on it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.